Right, it wasn't an operation. I keep saying operation, but I am. Exercise square leg was a 1980 British government home defence command post and field exercise which tested the transition to war and home defence roles uh, which tested the transition to war and home defence roles of the, the Ministry of Defence and British government. Part of the exercise involved a mock nuclear attack on Britain. It was assumed that 131 nuclear weapons would fall on Britain with a total yield of 205 megatons. That's all those weapons added up. Um, 69 ground bursts and 62 air burst with yields of 500 kilotons to 3 megatons. That was felt to be a reasonably realistic scenario, but the report stated that a total strike in excess of 1,000 megatons would be more likely. <laughs> a total strike of basically a gigaton, 1,000 megatons. Right, anyway. Mortality was estimated at 29 million. Now remember, this was back in 1980. So there weren't as many people here cleaning cars and all that and, you know, jumping on lorries to get here because, you know, it's so fantastic here in the UK, which it is. It's a utopia. That's what UK, that's what the U stands for in UK. <laughs> utopia. So how are you spelling you two up here, you? Oh, anyway. Cafe, I'm getting... I've already put on two stone since I've been sat on my ass in this quarantine. Anyway, so mortality was estimated at 29 million, which was 53% of the population at the time, 53% population, and that's just with um, 131 nuclear weapons falling on the country. But they, you know, this is their scenario. Their scenario. Uh, serious injuries of... Oh, yeah, so... 29 million dead, serious injuries of 7 million, short term survivors at 19 million. Square leg was criticised for a number of reasons. The weapons used were exclusively in the high yield megaton range, with an average of 1.5 megatons per bomb. But a realistic attack based on known Soviet capabilities would have seen would have seen mixed weapon yields, you know, they wouldn't have all been that size, they'd have been smaller and all that. Including many missile based warheads in the low hundred kiloton range. The low hundred kiloton range, I'll get back to these figures in a minute. Also, no targets in inner London were attacked, for example, Whitehall, the centre of British government. Towns such as Eastbourne are hit for no Obvious reason, right? Operation Square Leg was one of the exercises used to establish the destructiveness of, of a Soviet attack in the 1984 BBC production threads. That, that's a belter of a... If you, if you can have a watch of threads, that's a real... Uh, that's a real old laugh riot. Yeah, I watched it when I was a kid. Yeah. Brilliant. Also, see, so yeah, so that was Operation Square Leg. What, what's this on about? You know that, then. Well, what's this got to do with Corona? What this shows is what the government were planning. I don't mean the idiotic Ming Mongs down in, you know, in Whitehall. You know, the people who are on the telly. Good old Boris Johnson. Good old Boris. You know, bless him. I'm, you know, he's, he's out of hospital now. Still in recovery. You know. I haven't seen him on telly recently. But anyway, yeah, so, you know, that was Operation Square Leg back in the 80s. Back in 1980, it was a, a fictitious, well, it was an exercise based on, right, let's let's see what happens if we do this, this, this and this, and the Russians did this, this, this and this, and this is what we reckon had happened. 